Hey guys, Shifter here. Today I've got a review for you of the new SCUF hybrid controller. As you can see right here, this is the wireless SCUF version of the controller or SCUF theme. You can see the logo. And I'm also going to be talking about the wired version of the controller. This is the Team Envious version. You can see it's got Envy colors and branding and that sort of thing on the back. Got Envy paddles and whatnot. And we're mostly going to talk about why the SCUF Hybrid is better than the SCUF Original. And this is my original SCUF that I've had for, uh, it's been about a year now, a little bit of, maybe a year and some change. But first, we're going to do a quick down and dirty on what makes SCUF controllers better. And the best way to do that would be to compare it to the regular Xbox controller that you can see here. This is my old dinosaur controller. This is what I used to play on. And we'll start with the SCUF Original. The most notable thing that you'll see is that it has paddles on the back. And the good thing about that, and on the new hybrid, you can see we've got a lot more paddles on the back. And in my instance, all these paddles on the back, that's AYXB, so these are no longer needed. On the original controller, when you want to play, if you need to perform an action, you have to take your thumb off of here and hit B to duck, or hit to reload. And every time you're doing this, you're not aiming, and you're also wasting time to make this motion, and so that sort of deal. So. On the new uh, scuff controllers, what you would do in order to do that, these buttons still work, they're totally functional, but you have A, B, X, Y on the back, or since they're reprogrammable now, which we'll get to in a little bit, you can do anything you want. You don't waste any time, there's none of this, there's just click, 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 hit on the back, and you're also able to constantly aim while moving. We've got dome thumbsticks, which are more comfortable, and you'll notice these little protrusions here. These are trigger stops, and they're also hair triggers, so you just barely move them and you shoot. That means you can shoot way faster and react way faster with your aim down sights if you're playing Call of Duty. That's the SCUF controller in general. The purpose of this review is to compare the SCUF original, and I wish I had my SCUF animal here, but that's uh, I gave that to Quentin out in California. It's in a new home now, so you're going to be comparing the SCUF original to the new SCUF hybrid, and the number one thing you're going to notice right off the bat is that the battery pack is gone. And instead of the battery pack, we've got two extra paddles on the back. The original scuff only had two paddles. Most people do AB or AX or AY, and they were kind of locked in place, and that's all you could have. And if you wanted to change your paddles, you had to send it back to scuff. Well, the new hybrid, we've removed the battery pack, and in place of that, we have a lithium ion battery so that the wireless one here feels exactly the same as the wired one. It's an identical feel. We've changed ergonomics a little bit, but we've got more paddles on the wireless one better battery, and that means you can hit more buttons on the back. But the neat thing is, on both of these controllers, I'm going to swap over to the wired one for a little bit here, is that let's say if you play multiple games, and for Call of Duty it's good to have AWA XB on the back, but let's say you play Battlefield. A lot of people play Battlefield on the console. Well, what's the spot button in Battlefield? Probably the most important button. That's the back button. It's Q on PC. It's very easy to do, but there's not a lot of spotting on console, because to spot on console you constantly have to stop moving and smack this back button. It's very, very annoying. Well, the new SCUF Hybrid. Let me plug it in. <clears throat> and let's say I wanted to swap over from Call of Duty to Battlefield. We get a little, let's show off the blue LEDs here, you know, the cosmetics are neat. What I would do is I would hold down this button right here. If you can see, it's kind of a small button. And say I want to map this paddle to my spot. What I would do is I would hold down this button and then I would click the paddle that I want to make spot. And then I would hit the button that I want to remap to and hold and let go and it's done. So now when I want to spot people, instead of having to stop moving and having a slow spot, I can move constantly and spot on the back. Just tap on the back and spot, 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 and we're good to go. And when I want to go back to Call of Duty, turn her back on here, I've got a portable charger. What I would do is the same thing. I would just uh, hit it, hold it, hit the paddle that I want, and then I'd hit the key that I want, uh, the button, mind you, and we're good to go. Now I'm back to my A button. Whenever I want to jump, duck, reload, swap guns, whatever. And you'll notice a lot of the pro players and a lot of the commentators and stuff, they react really fast, they move in a funny way, and they move differently than most people do at home. It's because most people at home have something like this, where if they want to reload, they have to stop aiming and reload, or if they want a drop shot, what they would do is they would kind of line up their shot, and then they would drop, and then they would go back to aiming. Whereas on the, even the oldest of scuff controllers here, but on the hybrid, all you would have to do is you would just squeeze that to drop and just keep aiming and you're good to go. So the next thing to talk about the hybrid, how it differentiates from the older scuff controllers is ergonomics. And I'm going to actually use this one as an example because it's probably the most similar to the scuff animal. The scuff animal was the first one, first one to have uh, four paddles. You can go check my older review if you're interested. The wireless one here has four paddles as well, but the animals had to be wired. Now we can go wireless on the, this one. But uh, what we did here is we, if you see there's a seam where some work has been done, 
and a crease right here. We've changed the ergonomics of the controller so that this part is taller and that this part is smoother so that it feels better when you hold it because on the animal this was a little bit flatter and what you had to do to hit all four paddles you kind of had to put your fingers on it flat like this and you would push in and you'd kind of push in like this and some people didn't really like holding it like this and sometimes what they would do instead is they'd push the paddle sideways and hit them. I don't know if you can see me hitting them sideways but you can still kind of twerk them sideways a little bit and hit them and the older ones didn't have these paddle channels and if we could focus in on this if you can see that the is actually like little channels like little grooves where the paddles would go into which shouldn't be present on the yeah see this one just goes flat into the back and what you can do is when you would rotate it if somebody twerked it it would just turn on these two right here now that we've got paddle channels and improved paddles, mind you, there's no breaking of the paddles at all and it lasts much longer. But what the ergonomics do with the higher uh, indentation here and the change here is that instead of having to lay your fingers flat across, which I got used to, unfortunately that meant that I more or less held my controller with just these two fingers and it, it wasn't comfortable at first and it took a lot of getting used to. Now these make me wrap around and they make me drop these two fingers right here on the paddles and I push down like I should and it also gives me a nice rest for these two. The paddles are a little bit heavier on these and that's so what I had to hold the animal really like sensitive like so that I didn't accidentally hit a paddle that I shouldn't hit whereas on this one I can hold it like a like a man grip like a normal controller and I don't worry about popping the paddles on accident I can pop them whenever I want and that is the scuff hybrid. Last but not least if you're not a pro gamer, you're probably going to go wireless. I always liked wireless controllers. The reason that I primarily play on my wired hybrid right now is because I'm training for a pro event that's going to take place here in Dallas. But as soon as that's done, I'm jumping back on the wireless. And the biggest improvement to the wireless, other than the paddles, is that this big battery pack is gone. The days of feeding at double A's, a recharge pack is totally gone. So this is removed. And the internals now have a rechargeable lithium ion battery which inside the case here, you'll see, you can plug any sort of micro USB into it. You'll plug it up, and if I hook it up to my portable charger here, got a mess going on, and turn it on. Are we going to turn it on today? Yep, you can see it just charges just like that, and you have a charging light to indicate whether or not it's fully charged. Same remapping features that you had before. You can make it more or less any way you want it. Uh, the cosmetics are nice. We have blue and green LEDs, and they look very good. You can get a pro team version, Envious Face, whatever, Scuff brand. Uh, the thing about them is that you can make them any way you want them. All of the controllers start off like this guy. This is how they're born. They're born as a regular controller, and you send it in, and you say, I want an original two paddles. Or you say that, actually, what you can do now is you can send in your original Scuff and have them upgrade it to this. It's like 50 or $60 off if you start with this method and they'll turn either one of these into the hybrid and you tell them I want this color buttons, I want this many paddles, I want remappability which is probably something that you want. Uh, definitely if you're going with these go ahead and spend the extra money and get the, all the paddles because that makes it worth your time and the remappability and that sort of thing. And make it your controller and I've kind of moved off of reviewing these controllers in a really critical sense because I've been using them for the last year, actually. Somebody asked me, well, what controller did you use? I used this one for about seven or eight months, and then I used the Animal, which I, I gave away, for about two, three months, and then I moved up to these two hybrids, this one mostly when I travel and this one entirely at home. And these are the controllers I use. When I live stream, I stream with these. When I play gameplay, I got the gameplay with these. This is what I use every single day. So that's kind of my controller now. Uh, a few other accessories we've got here. Oh yeah, one other little thing. I almost forgot. So this one's kind of noticeable. Okay, let's compare these the tops of these two. I'll go ahead and unplug this one. And what you'll see is that the trigger stops on this one, which is a very similar mechanism. You can see that the screw sticks out a little bit, and depending on how you adjust it, that screw right there goes in and out. And on the old one, some people, I always rest my fingers down here, but some people would push up here at the top, and they'd push that little screw, and they hated it. It was a problem for them. The new ones have the screws deeper in, and they never come all the way out, so no matter what, even if you push your buttons up here at the top, that won't ever be an issue. And these on the bottom are also detachable. If uh, J-Hub, Mr. Sasquatch, held his funny, he would pinch himself. But you can pop that off, or not have them if you don't like them. You can make them any way you want them. Uh, Accessory-wise, they've changed a few other things that I should talk about. This is the old travel kit, which worked fine on a controller like this one. Let me go ahead and plug it up and put it in. So the original Scuff, original Scuff travel kit. Good to go. No problems. 
but uh, if you had now this is the this is the hybrid it's the shapes a little bit different but if you had a controller with wires you would plug it in and you always kind of tried to do you put do this kind of thing and then close it and it would never quite close right or travel right so the new one is built for the hybrids a little bit more and you put it in and then you've got extra space at the top either for all of this wiring or if you have a uh, let's see if I can wrap this up and get it in in a reasonable ordinate amount of time. Do, 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 do. Come on, let's go. You would more or less put that in this area right here. And you'd close it up, zip it up, good to go. Other little accessories, they have the, the wrist, the, the keychain thing, but this is a hex key. It goes on your like car keys or you leave it in the house. And every scuff controller that you get, even the older ones, they'll ship with a tiny little hex key. And what that's for is that you stick in here and you can turn it left and right and adjust your thumbsticks. But I can promise you the very day that you want to do that, you will probably have lost your tiny little black hex key. See, I always carried one of these guys because it sticks out and it's very easy to find. It saves me a lot of trouble and headache later on. And that's kind of my review of these scuff controllers. These are, I'm moving away from being a harsh reviewer and more into a brand advocate because this is what I use every day. This is my controller. And uh, if you see me playing somewhere in public or traveling, I'm going to be using these. The only time I played a game not using these recently was when I played Call of Duty Ghost. I had to use the Xbox One controller. They wouldn't let me touch the PCs with the game, and they made me use the Xbox One controller. And you would have found it funny because me and all the other pros and commentators in the line, hey, can we use our scuff? Is my scuff compatible? Can I use this one? And the PR team was about to lose their freaking minds because they went through a lot of trouble to get us a lot of Xbox One controllers, and we didn't even want to use them because we, we wanted to use these and keep our paddles. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope you learned something useful. If you're interested in these, the pricing, all the options, all that sort of stuff, and a 5% uh, off coupon for me is all down there in the description. Links for days, older reviews that are much more technical and much more detailed than I didn't want to repeat myself on. All that down in the description, tons of information, and that's it. Drifter out.